with ProPresenter 6, if you didn't have the multi-screen module, you had to jump through a few hoops in order to get a secondary output that you could send to the Sling Studio. But with ProPresenter 7, it's a whole lot easier. So let me show you just a little bit of what I've done. So uh, first off, let's go into screens, then configure screens. And you'll notice that I have three screens. Ignore the alpha one, we're not using that for this. This is just our regular uh, audience screen. And this is a special one that I made for Sling Studio. Notice that it says Broadcom 2.0, and that's because that's what the Sling Studio says that it is. So um, that's showing up as this output. So I just added it like a regular output, single output, target full, uh, just normal, normal, normal. Okay. Then up here again in screens. Now let's go into edit looks. And I've created a look that is just identical to all the others. Now I don't have to put props and messages. I don't have to put announcements. But just for this particular situation, I'm going to have this exactly identical except for one difference. Here on the presentation layer, I'm using a different theme. And that theme is one that I call Chroma with Bars. So when we select it, you'll notice that I've created a theme that has just a chroma key green background and it has um, two black bars under the two lines of lyrics. So let me show you what that looks like um, in practice. So over here, this is our regular audience screen. This could look however you want, you know, it could have a, a background behind it, whatever. But the one for the Sling Studio, when I select that, you'll notice it's chroma key green with two black bars. So if you uh, watch any of the other tutorials on uh, how to do things in the editor, or how to work with themes, you can do this basically. I just drew a shape and changed its color to the hex code 00FF00. And those are in order. The first zero is red, the second, or the first two zeros are red, the second, the two Fs are green, and the third two zeros, sets of zeros, are blue. So I put red on zero, I put blue on zero, and I put green all the way up. So that's what color this is. Created a theme, and um, you saw that I applied it as a look. So now, no matter what slide I select, it should be the case, yeah, here we go, that it changes... Um, As long as I change to a slide with different words, these are repeats. Uh, it changes. This is what it looks like to the congregation, and this is what it looks like to the Sling Studio. So I've got that plugged into the Sling Studio, as I say. Here, I have that set up. So uh, first, let me turn that off. Let me show you how I set that up. Clicked on these uh, three dots here. I went into chroma settings and if I uncheck use chroma key you can see that that's what it looks like so what I did is I first clicked on this and I I drop it right here and then I tweaked the similarity to where it would get rid of most of this uh, the spill there I could also play with the spill reduction a little bit so now when I select use chroma you can see that it's mostly there. I could spend a few more minutes tweaking that to making to make it look a little bit better. Now I can click on this and it puts it in in preview and so now I can just do 
preview the program and I have my lyrics in. Uh, when I bring this, this in, it's going to be a cut. Um, the Sling Studio can't do otherwise. But that is how you can get lyrics on your Sling Studio for live streaming. 